Hey, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about our content creation framework and specifically how you can use it to program conversations in ManyChat. So our go-to framework for creating any piece of content is to always start with the promise of the content. In other words, why should someone give up some of their time to consume your content? So we always start with the promise. And so in this video, the promise is I'm gonna teach you the content creation framework and how to apply it to Medichat. That's why you should pay attention. Second thing you wanna do is talk about the problem. So in this case, the problem is Medichat is a great uh, opportunity to get your audience engaged. Open rates, click-through rates in Medichat are super high. The problem is it's a conversation. You can't just broadcast blog content or podcast content in ManyChat because it doesn't work because the medium is Facebook Messenger and so it needs to feel conversational, right? So that's the problem. Uh, the third thing you wanna do, so I hope you see what I'm doing here. I'm using the framework as I'm teaching it. The third thing you wanna do is bust a myth in some way, right? So um, what you might be thinking is, well, I'm just gonna take my existing content, Troy, and just put it into ManyChat. I'm here to tell you that that's not gonna work because people don't engage when they're being broadcasted at, right? So you need to really understand your audience and what they're responding to. The other thing I wanna talk about is the importance of using buttons in ManyChat to get your audience to engage. It's much easier than if they just type back to you. Because if they type back to you and you're, you've got a campaign for 5,000 subscribers in ManyChat, you're gonna be overwhelmed with the responses coming back. So you wanna use buttons as much as possible to filter people along your conversation. So the next thing you wanna do is just teach the teaching points which I'm gonna do in a moment. In fact, I'll do it right now. Um, in, if you were writing a blog post, this would all be one big blog post, right? And if you look at any of our blog posts, you can kind of break it down into these sort of frameworks. Um, in ManyChat, what you wanna do is you wanna split these out into individual conversation pieces. So you might say, hey Troy, do you wanna learn how to use ManyChat to get more, more, make, make more sales of your online course? That's the promise of the conversation. And then if the person says uh, yes, right, then they'll move into this one. If they say no, then they're out of the conversation. If they say yes, then you say cool. So what's your biggest problem with using ManyChat right now? And you might give them some options. Well, I'm not using it. Um, I'm using it but not getting the results or um, I, I, I'm using it and I'm getting good results but I want better results. So you give them an option. So here you're asking them what their problem is. Then, based on their answer, you're just gonna bust a myth. Well, hey, you might have heard this, but it's not true and here's why. Keep these really short, super short, as if you're talking to someone on ManyChat. Then you wanna teach them the teaching points. Hey, we just published a blog post about blah, blah, blah. The too long didn't read version is this. Is this helpful? Yes, no, they're out. Yes, we keep going, right? Then what you might wanna do here is just finish off with a rookie mistake or a power tip, otherwise known as do's and don'ts. And then the final thing is a call to action. So while you if you're having a conversation and you get someone through to this point here, it'll be like, hey, did you know, um, or just letting you know, we've got a, a, a mini chat course coming out. Uh, it gets released tomorrow. Go here to sign up to get notified. And the only people that are seeing this conversation are people who have engaged in the whole conversation. So you're not spamming a whole bunch of people who aren't interested because you've exited those people if they've said no. These people are highly engaged, that means they're highly interested. Funny you mention that, because if you're watching this right now, at the time we publish this, there's about four hours to go of our Facebook Ads Accelerator course, which includes a ManyChat Masterclass with Kim Barrett that will show you how you can use ManyChat to get organic leads into your business. So this is the content creation framework. Offer the promise, outline the problem, bust a myth, teach the thing, rookie mistakes, power tips, call to action, put it into a blog post or a podcast or a presentation, but if you're using it in many chat, slice these up into individual conversations and always get an interaction from your subscriber to get them through to the next part of the conversation. And if they don't engage or they say no, exit them out so you're not spamming people. Hope that's helpful. Leave a comment, question or feedback under this video. I'll see you in the next video.